Welcome to the session on Cataloging Module Relinking Holdings and Items. This presentation is copyrighted by Ex Libris. Please check your contract for copyright information. On this relinking session, we will link items to different bib records, we will unlink holdings and items from different bib records, and we will work to relink items to different holdings records. When you're linking an item to a bibliographic record or to more than one bibliographic record, this will create a bound width situation where a single item is associated with two bibliographic titles. In cataloging, you retrieve an item record. From the record menu, you then link to the bibliographic. You enter a second bibliographic ID and you click OK. I'll show you this in the cataloging module with some slight modifications to make your life easier. This does assume that there's no holdings on the second bibliographic record. It makes things a little bit easier. You can also, once you've linked an item to two different bibliographic records, you can also unlink those holding records to two multiple bibliographic records. If you're going to remove a bound width link in cataloging, instead of retrieving the item record, you would just retrieve the holding record, the muff head record. Again, bring up the holding record, go to the record menu, and you will see a new option called unlink holdings from bibliographic. This time, though, you'll see a selection menu of the bibliographic IDs, and you select the bib you'd like to unlink from, and then press OK. In the cataloging module, we're going to do both of those features. So the first thing I'm going to do is search for a series called the Reference Shelf. If you've ever seen this particular series, it publishes a couple of times a year and has about six titles that comes out each year on this particular series. In our catalog, we have um, three or four titles, The Mass Communications, Protecting Our Environment, Representative American Speeches, and Russian Chinese Rift. We also have a single record for the reference shelf. If we choose, we can not only have an item associated with the bibliographic record, say the Russian Chinese Rift, but it can also be associated with the series record of the reference shelf. So I'm going to use the control key and the mouse to select both of those lines and press OK. That will bring up both the bibli bibliographic records. In order for this to work well, right now the Russian Chinese Rift has the item record and the reference shelf does not. Um, in order for this to work well, I want both bibliographic records available to me, specifically the second bibliographic ID, 65488. From the first bib record, I can get items or get holdings or use the hierarchy to find the record and bring up the item record onto the screen. Since I'm linking this item record, a barcoded item, from one bib to linking to a second bib, the item record is the one that has to be available on the screen. Under the record menu, I am going to link to bibliographic. And what I'm going to do is link to a second bibliographic ID of 65488. And it's done. I can tell that it's done on the item record because immediately the titles line now has a drop down menu on the far right where I can see both the reference shelf link and the Russian Chinese Rift. Another way I can tell that this has been done is if I look at the hierarchy, click on the hierarchy button, I see my reference shelf title, main location, and the item width or the item link shows me the bound width with this particular item record and the reference shelf on the Russian Chinese Rift. So it shows me both titles on the hierarchy for this particular bibliographic record. The other feature that can be done to a linked item is retrieve the item record and its associated holdings. Again, I can use the Get Holdings button because the bib record are up, is up, or I can come to the hierarchy again and choose the holding record, the muff head, retrieve that. Let's get rid of this. And the holding record, it's very easy to see that it's bound with the reference shelf. In this case, make the holding record your main record. Come up to the record menu. Go to unlink holding from bibliographic. And you'll have a selection choice of do I want to remove this from the Russian Chinese Rift or from the reference shelf? I'm going to remove it from the reference shelf. Press OK. And I'm back to having a bib link here as opposed to a bound width. 
on the item record, I can also tell that it's changed because I no longer have a drop down on the title line. And then if I look at the hierarchy available to me, I no longer see a second bound width piece of information. Another feature available to you within the cataloging module is the ability to relink items to a different holding record. This will happen when you're moving an item link from one muff head to another. It does remove the original link. So an item is not linked to more than one holding record. An item linked is linked to only one holding record. This can happen in acquisitions frequently when you order for one location, but when you receive it, it actually needs to be stored somewhere else. Uh, in an example we're going to see online, you check in in the serials area in acquisitions, it moves to the current displays, and then later it moves to the stacks or storage area. In cataloging, again, you're going to retrieve an item record. This can be a scanned item record or one you pull up from the bibliographic record. In the record menu, you'll see a secondary option. Uh, you may have noticed it last time we did an exercise where we were linked to a different holding. You're going to enter the other muff head ID and press OK. In cataloging, I am going to search, well I'm going to close these first and search for the journal entry, College and Research Libraries. In this particular case, this record is received in acquisitions to an acquisitions holding location. So serials check-in is done by the scanning the ISSN on the journal. It's checked in and item record is created. Eventually, in this particular library, it makes it to the reference department, which is the current holdings location for the current active item. And then after that, when you get enough issues, they're bound and moved into the main stacks area. What I'd like to do, though, is um, make the, the case of this particular acquisitions item finally making it to the reference department. So it should be stored alphabetically by title as opposed to in the acquisitions area. I'm going to be moving this holding item or this item record from the acquisitions desk holding location to the reference department holding location 65313. I need to retrieve the item record and it tells me the holding location. Under the record menu I want to relink to a different holding record and I'm going to relink to 65 313. It says item successfully relinked. If you watch the title bar for the item record, it's going to change from 59331 to 65313. Again, in the hierarchy, I can see this feature as well because I no longer have a plus sign by the acquisitions desk. Instead, I have a single item under the reference department. Notice that the location of the item did not change. You need to change that manually. If you'd like additional information, please check the cataloging user guide. Thank you very much.